In this specific video, you're going to learn how to turn your website prospects into buyers or subscribers. How would you like your website to be your 24 seven automated salesperson? Imagine this in scenario number one, we've got a hundred people that come to your site. They're frustrated and confused because they haven't gotten the information that they seek and they leave your site within seconds. In scenario number two, you got 30 out of 100 people that call you or email you. They all ask you at least 10 questions or more. They're still confused and they're still in research mode. So in other words, your conversions are not high out of those 30 people. You don't actually get any sales. They're just basically wasting your time. You see the problem here, even if you're getting targeted traffic to your site, if your conversions are not decent, your visitors will be confused. They're going to ask questions, lots of them, and most of them aren't actually going to buy your product. But let's take a different perspective. If your conversions are higher, then you can gain your visitors trust and get your visitors to take an action that you desire. Now imagine this, we've got scenario one again. Out of those 100 people that go to your website, 10 people purchase your product or service, and an additional 40 people sign up onto your newsletter list. So the 40 people that signed up onto your newsletter list, they're interested in your product or service or what you have to offer them. They're just not ready to buy. And sometimes it can take anywhere from 7 to 12 times for somebody to see something until they make the decision to buy. So that's 40 people onto your list who are interested. And of course, scenario number two, we've got 10 out of the 100 people that call you or email you. And if they do ask you 10 or more questions, it's not to ask you a million questions because they're researching. It's to ask you questions because they know they want your product or service and are asking questions to clarify their purchased or a specific action that you want them to take. You see the difference here? The difference is one is higher in conversions and one is lower in conversions. Targeted versus untargeted. And if you create a website that answers people's questions, clarifies them, also appeals to them, then you're going to get a higher conversion rate. Let's talk about researchers. Most people who are looking for a service or product start out by researching. And if you think about yourself, when you're looking for a product or service and so forth, you might go to google.com and you type in a keyword. When you're doing this, you're not necessarily looking to buy just yet. But if you go to, let's say, the top 10 websites, and out of the top 10 websites, you find two sites that really gain your trust. They give you tips and advice and things like that. They answer your questions really quickly. And out of the 10 people, you compare them, you find two people, you call both of them, then you kind of compare the two, and you figure out which one you want to buy from. So... There is that area here where you can take somebody through the researching process, help them compare, help answer the questions, and show them the end result so that you can help them make the buying decision. So if your website can help somebody go from the researching to appealing to them, to helping them make a decision, and to gaining their trust you're going to convert your researchers into buyers. Now, of course, we have buyers. These are people who aren't really looking to research. They've already done their research and they either got some sort of referral from their friend or somebody else and they want your product. So all you have to do with these people is just to make sure that you guide them the right direction, guide them to your product Make it sure that it's easy to find your products and services on your website so that they can 
get their questions answered if they have any. Because the worst case scenario is that your website is not user friendly and not organized. If that's the case, you're going to turn buyers away. People that are the probably the easiest people to sell to simply because they want your product. Now, I want to talk about some application so that you can take what I've taught you in this specific video and apply it. These are some simple tweaks to increase your website conversions. You can upgrade your theme design. The design and the look of your site is important. It portrays the first impressions that they will have on you. Unfortunately, people do judge a book by its cover. So you need to upgrade the theme design. You need to make sure that your content is organized and make sure that your site can easily be navigated. Gather the top five to 10 questions and create an FAQ so that when people come to your site, they have those similar questions, they can get them answered by you. Gather the top 10 or five to 10 benefits of your product or service. And gather the top five to 10 different ways your product can be used. Show the results, use stuff like before and after pictures, especially for service providers. If you have before and after pictures, you can show the end result and people will see, you know, what they can get in terms of if they buy your product or service. So giving them the before and after pictures are kind of like mini case studies and can help you greatly. And of course, creating a basic social media presence. I know a lot of business owners, you're really busy. And because you're busy, you're thinking, why should I sign up for Facebook? It's just another way to get, you know, distracted and, and things like that. So what I'd recommend, just create a basic social media presence, meaning create a Facebook fan page, Twitter page, or LinkedIn page and populate it with information about your company and maybe give some helpful tips and tricks and just start getting people to like your fan page and so forth. 